entertainment, and that led him to spend approximately six years in the video game industry. Uh, he designed and produced many games for Warner Brothers, GT Interactive, Sierra Online, and Mattel. Uh, Jared is currently president of Code 4 Software, uh, which is the creators of V-Tracker software system. And this is the first and most advanced real-world metrics capture and web-based analytics tool available. Uh, and AdSoft as well, which is the first turnkey metrics-backed virtual world distributed advertising platform. Um, and next to Mr. Freeman, we have Sabri Sansoy. Uh, Sabri, sorry. Uh, I knew I was going to get it wrong. But, um, Sabri is the Chief Technology Officer at Animax Entertainment, uh, which creates virtual world games, um, or excuse me, virtual world games, animation, and other media for leading entertainment studios, toy manufacturers, game studios, brand and agency clients. Um, in the past year, the company has doubled in size, uh, which, you know, given the way that the economy is going, is a you know wonderful, wonderful thing to see. Uh, as well as won many awards, including the Emmy, Telly, and Horizon Interactive Awards. And all the way down to the left, we have uh, James Brower, and he is a is a founder and chairman and CEO of Number Done Inc., which in 1999 launched YBuild.net as a learning environment and one of the first virtual worlds for tweens. Um, YBuild currently has 4.1 million registered users who spend an average 34 minutes on the site per login and on average 3.2 hours per month. Um, Dr. Bauer is a computational neurobiologist, which he'll have to explain to me what exactly what that means, but <laughs> on the faculty of the Research Imaging Center for the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. Uh, he has served on educational and technology advisory committees for the National Academy of Sciences and the National Science Foundation, the Ford Foundation, and the National Institutes of Health. So obviously we've got really three leading members of the field here, and you know, I, I know for myself I'm very interested to see what they have to say. Um, we're going to start a little bit with some background and you know, some of the gentlemen will give you some idea of what their companies are doing and you know, what the capabilities of their platforms are. So I'd like to turn it over to uh, Dr. Bauer first. Um, unless, of course, you'd like a lecture on Cerebell and Rikinji cells. Ooh, yeah, that's 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 oh, yeah, that's launched. Okay. Right. Um, good. So, uh, yeah, it's really very simple. Um, until you can measure it, and it's different, and it's something people want, they're not likely to buy it. Done. Um, so, let me tell you about our take on that. So really, everybody should be in this room. Um, first thing, this is just a historic <laughs> note. This is actually the first time I used the word engage uh, in a PowerPoint presentation. It was actually a business plan presentation in the year 2000. And it <coughs> states what Wyville, what we were trying to do with Wyville to begin with, uh, which was to uh, exploit the internet to engage children in a dynamic learning community. Uh, Wybill was designed from scratch to engage kids in learning. And of course, learning is the most engaging thing you can do. So the engagement and the learning all sort of fits together uh, in the design of the site. Uh, one other thing, my son is now a graduate student at the New Media Program at NYU. I talked to him on the phone a week ago telling him I was coming to New York. And uh, we were talking about media and the difference between the internet and regular media. And I said, well, you know, John, it's not about push anymore. So he said, yeah, 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 I know it's about pull. Um, so I just thought I'd throw this slide up too, just to make the point that we knew a long time ago that the internet was different. It's not about pushing stuff at kids. In this case, it's about pulling kids into it. So it's not about measuring eyeballs, right, which are things you push stuff at. It's about measuring how brains are engaged through the eyeballs, which is pull. And pull is much more powerful than push. So how, but how do you measure pull? If eyeballs aren't the metric, what is the metric? Um, well, <coughs> Comscore about a year or so ago came up with the beginnings of engagement metrics, ones that have been quoted already this morning a couple of times, by average minutes per visit. Uh, this is the data as of uh, September 08. For Comscore, 
uh, with the number of virtual worlds that you can see up there in terms of how many minutes per <coughs> login does a kid spend on the site. Okay? This is an engagement metric according to Comscore. According to us, it's just the surface. It's the simplest thing you can measure. It doesn't really get into depth about how engaged kids are. Um, so, another point in this shift, uh, brands are mostly push. The first meeting of this uh, series of meetings, uh, actually I stood up and said it's not about brand anymore, it's about product, and people got upset about that. Um, in a simulated virtual world, you can actually have kids engaged in your product, not in the brand. If you've got 30 seconds to influence them, you do a lot of brand. If you want to engage for hours and hours and hours, you build something in the site about your product. We just, so Scion just re-up with us for the fourth year in a row, which is pretty amazing given the current situation in the auto industry. Anyway, and this is a sequence I don't have time to go through, um, but the things we've been doing with Scion over the last two or three years, four years, we started with a car dealership uh, in Wyville where kids can actually buy Scions, We've gone on to automotive engineering, where kids can actually tear the science apart and rebuild them. Uh, last year we did uh, a music maker, so science is now into music learning in Wyville, where kids can actually design their own uh, musical snippets and sell them to other kids, so you can play them through your Scion car radio as you're driving around Wyville in your Scion. Um, <clears throat> the first month we had 9,000 songs made 4,300 song makers and 308,000 songs played. That was about nine months ago. Um, <coughs> these are some of the metrics we give to Scion. And this is a, a general point. If what you're actually building in your virtual world is the product, then some of the metrics you give back to the sponsor are actually metrics that the sponsor can plug into its, their own spreadsheets. Okay. So Scion cares about how many visits there are to dealerships, cares about test drives, cares about number of car sales as a result of test drives, and they also care about which brands or, or car types people want to buy. This is data from Wyville. So we don't have to translate from eyeballs into something into something into what Scion cares about. If we're actually building sponsorships in Wyville that are about the product, then the metrics we can measure are product-based metrics, which Scion knows how to interpret, because it's what they do for their business. And personally, I think that this is where virtual worlds will eventually go. This is the power of virtual worlds. And eyeballs are even average login times per, you know, average time logged in per visit uh, is an indirect measure of what you really want to measure. If you're selling a product, what you really want to measure is the metrics around the product, which in principle, if the activity is built properly in virtual world, you can do. These are some of the people that believe this at present <coughs> um, and work with us, typically directly to the client, not through a media group and not through a virtual world design group. Directly from us, the designers and managers of the virtual world, to the sales, marketing people in the company, who of course understand the product very well, better than the marketing guys do. Last point, uh, we actually, I guess today, are announcing a new partnership with the Web Analytics Association. Uh, What's to graphic, man? It's your graphic? Yeah. <laughs> situation. Oh, cool. <laughs> anyway, so this is, I just wanted to play, this gives you an example of how, how we do things in why though, okay? So what we're actually doing is launching a partnership with Web Analytics, and we're gonna be looking for sponsors for each of these rooms. Four rooms. The kids understand why though very well. They understand how it works. They don't understand what makes it work. So we're building four rooms under why though that kids can go down to understand the technology. The first one is the programmer's room, where they'll actually be able to see what's coming how this, how Wyville is programmed in Java, in Flash, whatever, to actually observe our programmers building the site. And I didn't say before that those who don't know, 